Well, kia ora guys, and thank you for joining me on quite a blustery but sunny day in Hawke's Bay, New Zealand. This is just a follow-up really to my previous video about the Voigtlander Besser 2. Since then I've spent a little bit of time, wherever I am, drag along the Besser, take a few shots here and there, trying to get an acceptable shot from every image I try and take with this camera. I really would like to get to use it a lot more often and uh, get the best or the, get the best that I can get out of the camera. So I'm just rattling through two rolls of film, FP4+, Plus, both rated ISO 400, and I kind of like the uh, I like the increased contrast that seems to give me. I can't actually remember some of the photographs I took, uh, but that's just, that's just film photography. You know, you take photographs, you don't see them instantly, you move on to the next, you forget about it, and then it's like, it's like, a, like a happy surprise when you get a photograph back and you think, shit, yeah, I forgot about that one, cracking or not, it might be pants. I can't overstate how impressed I am with this camera. I absolutely love it. Sometimes I'm finding it quite difficult to get a focus on this camera. I've got a couple of dodgy eyes, so everything looks a little bit blurred anyway at times. And especially in the bright sunlight and things like that, when I take my sunglasses off and bang, the sunlight hits me, and then you're trying to, trying to get a focus, you know, make the two images align. And sometimes it gets, uh, it gets a little bit tricky. <laughs> You going biking? Yeah. All right, stay safe, mate. You getting some pictures? Yeah, just going to a few pictures, just a bit of time lapse. Oh, nice. Just time lapse oh, of the clouds really moving over. Yeah. A few oh, tornadoes great. down south. Yeah. Try and avoid them. Just getting cold. Yeah. See ya, mate. Whew. Awkward. Anyway, as I was saying, what was I saying? Kick it off, it's kicking off.
So guys, I really do hope you enjoyed that video. I really hope you enjoyed the stills. I'm so impressed, so impressed with this beautiful camera and the images it produces. They're not digitally sharp images, but they're certainly film sharp and they've got a character all of their own. I absolutely love them. This camera is so much fun to use. Seeing that, I should pop the Besser there. So that's the Besser, which is an absolute joy to use. This one is also such a joy to use. I can't even remember how you open it. There you go. Look at that one. That is the Zeiss Iconta M. And I've shot a video with this previously. There's a link above. This one I adore. Beautiful, beautiful camera. Anyway, back to the Besser, the, the reason for this video. It's a beautiful piece of kit. I just can't speak highly enough of this camera. I absolutely adore it. I lost one frame on this shoot. The last last little sequence of video where my uh, where my better half was uh, having a little nana nap. I took a still of that as well. Unfortunately, it's come out black. I mean, I mean jet black. It, it absolutely, completely jet black. Now I'm thinking that must have been exposed to light somehow, somewhere along the process. But but I, I, I can't think where. The film was well wound on. Took it out in the day. I put it in the, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever the lights got to it, it's obviously been uh, exposed to light at some stage. Out of a roll of eight images, I got seven from that particular shoot. I can't fault any of the images. I'm so impressed with them. So the next test for the Besser or the Iconta. Ooh, jeez. No, I think we'll go with the Besser. So the next test for the Besser is going to be to slip a roll of colour film in there. Kodak Ektar 100. Really looking forward to that. Fingers crossed, maybe maybe in the morning, if I get up in time, we'll give that a shot. Anyway, final guys, until next time, thanks for sticking with this, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.